Hello and welcome back to another video. Today here again on Forza Horizon 5 to take a look at another brand new addition to this game, which is this 2022 Subaru BRZ. To obtain this car, all you have to do is complete 20 points of this week's Winter Festival playlist, which is the season we have every week um, in December. Um, and you can see I've done that by doing the trial, the two event labs, um, the photo challenge and the rivals, which I did at the beginning of the month. This latest 2022 Subaru BRZ comes over to Forza Horizon 5 from the new Forza Motorsport game, where I have driven it briefly, um, but not for a little while, so can't really compare to how it was in that game. Driving it here in Horizon, though, it felt pretty nice. Fun little thing to drive, low power, not lots of grip, but fun little rear-wheel drive sports car. And it is also, of course, very similar to the Toyota GR86 that was added to this game fairly recently as well. This BRZ produces 228 horsepower and 250 torques from a little 2.4 litre boxer engine, just like the GR86, um, whilst weighing just under 1,300 kilos, putting this car in B class at 673 pi from standard. Interestingly though, the GR86 is actually ever so slightly lighter in game, with a slightly higher pi rating then of 677. In terms of customization options, there's not really all that much. Even the manufacturer colours are a bit disappointing. There's a whole kind of range of whites, blacks and greys. Um, but the only really interesting colour is the, the blue that it came in. So let's stick with that. So yes, the colours were rather disappointing, especially when compared to the GR86, which had a few nice bright colours. And unfortunately, it also doesn't have the wide body, which some of you may be aware the GR86 has in this game. This is what the Toyota looks like with Forza Horizon 5's body kit preset installed, which includes that Rocket Bunny wide body, um, which it's available with, which the Subaru isn't. Some people speculated that it might get the same one, um, but this car is also in Forza Motorsport, where apparently that kit isn't available. I haven't actually tested it myself, because I didn't want to aimlessly lap a, a BRZ around 50, 54 minutes, 45 minutes, or maybe it is 54 minutes, to find out. There are, though, some Subaru parts for this. Um, there's this slightly extended splitter. There are a couple of Subaru wings, um, one of which is quite ridiculous, um, Subaru diffuser and Subaru side skirts to kind of make the car a bit more aggressive. So it's good to see that there are some options. Um, there's a few engine swaps as well, including, I think, a Porsche engine. Um, but nice to see there's lots of flat fours and flat sixes, the sort of thing that you might swap into this. Not quite sure about a V8, but loads of options there if you want. There is also, of course, an all-wheel drive conversion if you want to ruin your fun rear-wheel drive sports car. And a turbo and supercharger option. Um, but yeah, other than the aero bits, everything's kind of pretty as you would expect on any car in Forza. All the same tyre options, track widths, tyre widths. Although track widths, of course, aren't available in motorsport, I don't think. Um, but yeah, all of your usual drivetrain platform and handling and engine upgrades are here. As I've kind of made it slightly more aggressive with the aero, which interestingly doesn't change these front sort of side blades like it did on the GR86 with the Toyota parts. Um, but yeah, to go with the slightly more aggressive styling, I will bring the track width out and probably put it on some slightly better tyres and slightly, slightly lower suspension. After this, I applied an A-Class Purist tune from K1Z Bard, which also made use of the Subaru parts like my quick set of upgrades did, this time though with the smaller wing, and I also painted the car bright red. I then headed into a Horizon Open session, kicking things off with a race at the Chihuahua circuit. This got off to a rather slow start, mostly because I was struggling with oversteer, the car being a little bit looser than I had hoped, although it seemed pretty fast and had good turn-in. I did start to get used to it, um, but then quickly found myself stuck behind a BMW M3 for most of the race, which I did eventually get past and surprisingly ended up not too far off the top two at the end of the race. Second up was one of the new sprint routes, the Linea Costera Sprint, where I had a pretty good start, 
getting myself up to second place, um, but then I decided not to break for a corner for some reason, and that was kind of the end of that race, unfortunately. The final race was at another of the new sprints, the Aerodromo sprint, where the car was mostly let down by my driving, but also by some of the driving of the other participants who pushed me into walls. Anyway, uh, I think for me this tune was just a little bit too loose at the back um, to kind of get along with. I'd like my cars to be pretty planted um, and could do with being a little bit more handling focused. It was pretty decent on the straights, but yeah, struggled a little bit in the corners. But I'm sure in the right hands this tune would perform much better. This car certainly has potential. I think for me, with a few tweaks to the tune and a few less mistakes, um, it could perform rather well and be rather good, I think. That though is going to bring an end to today's video, taking a very first look at the brand new 2022 Subaru BRZ here on Forza Horizon 5, which of course comes across from Forza Motorsport, but is brand new to the Horizon series. It is very similar to the GR86, of course, that we got not that long ago, um, but both of them are fun little sports cars with not too much power, um, rear-wheel drive, a little bit of slide, but pretty good fun um, from standard at least. Um, a few upgrade and customization options, not the full wide body that we got on the GR86 and a disappointing selection of colours, but there are a few Subaru visual modifications that can be done to this car. And with this A-Class Purist tune, it was reasonable online, I just didn't get on with how um, loose it was at the back, um, would prefer it slightly more stable, but I think it, it felt like it could have been pretty good. Um, but yeah, fun little thing, so is definitely worth going and getting hold of. Slightly different options to the GR86, so even if you have this that car, this car is still worth having, because yeah, it is different enough to, well, still be enjoyable. Um, but that is going to do it for today's video, taking a very first look at this car. So thank you very much for watching, and I will be back with the next one very soon. Mm -hmm.